1. What device operates at layer 2 of the OSI model and forwards frames based on MAC addresses? A. Router B. Switch C. Hub D. Firewall 2. What is the default subnet mask for a Class C IP address? A. 255.255.0.0 B. 255.0.0.0 C. 255.255.255.0 D. 255.255.255.128 3. Which command is used on Windows to display the IP configuration of a computer? A. Netstat B. Ping C. IP protocol configuration D. Tracert 4. What protocol is used to translate domain names into IP addresses? A. HTTP B. DHCP C. FTP D. DNS 5. Which port number is used by HTTPS? A. 21 B. 80 C. 443 D. 110 6. What command on a Cisco router shows active IP routing table entries? A. Show version B. Show interfaces C. Show IP route D. Show startup config 7. Which of the following is a private IP address? A. 172.16.0.5 B. 8.8.8.8 C. 192.0.2.1 D. 129.144.52.38 8. What does DHCP stand for? A. Domain Host Control Protocol B. Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol C. Data Host Configuration Port D. Digital Hardware Communication Protocol 9. What layer of the OSI model is responsible for error detection and flow control? A. Network B. Session C. Transport D. Data Link 10. Which topology uses a central connecting device such as a switch? A. Mesh B. Bus C. Star D. Ring 11. What is the function of a firewall in a network? A. Amplifies Wi-Fi signals B. Filters incoming and outgoing traffic C. Converts analog to digital signals. D. Assigns IP addresses. 12. What does the ping command test? A. Web server load. B. Wireless signal strength. C. Network connectivity. D. Data encryption. 13. Which of the following best describes a VLAN? A. A type of firewall. B. A wireless protocol. C. A logical segmentation of a network. D. A physical LAN segment. 14. Which type of malware is designed to trick users into revealing personal information? A. Worm. B. Trojan. C. Phishing. D. Rootkit. 15. What does NAT do in a network? A. Encrypts all traffic. B. Translates private IP addresses to public IP. C. Provides dynamic IP addresses. D. Monitors application traffic. 16. What type of address is FFFFFFFFFFF? A. Multicast. B. Loop back. C. Broadcast. D. Unicast. 
17. Which protocol is connection-oriented and provides reliable data delivery? A. UDP B. TCP C. ICMP D. HTTP 18. Which command would you use on Linux to display the IP address assigned to a network interface? A. If config B. Show IP C. Net view D. IP table 19. What device separates broadcast domains in a network? A. Switch B. Hub C. Router D. Bridge 20. Which command shows the path taken by packets to a destination? A. IP protocol configuration B. Ping C. Tracert D. Netstat 21. What is the primary purpose of a proxy server? A. Translate IP addresses B. Cache web content and control access C. Encrypt wireless traffic D. Assign MAC addresses 22. What is the most secure type of wireless encryption commonly available today? A. WEP B. WPA C. WPA2 D. WPA3 23. Which tool would help you visually map devices on a network? A. Packet Tracer B. IP Protocol Configuration C. CMD D. Notepad 24. What is a loopback address used for in networking? A. Checking internal TCP IP stack B. Sending data to other hosts C. Assigning DHCP addresses D. Monitoring internet usage 25. Which port does FTP use for control commands? A. 22 B. 21 C. 23 D. 25 Cisco Certified Support Technician The Cisco Certified Support Technician CCST exam is an entry-level certification designed to validate foundational knowledge and skills in IT support and networking. Developed by Cisco in collaboration with Certiport, the CCST exam assesses a candidate's understanding of networking fundamentals, operating systems, security principles, software troubleshooting, and basic Cisco technologies. It is ideal for students, recent graduates, and career switchers looking to begin a career in IT support or network administration. The exam includes real-world scenarios to evaluate critical thinking and problem-solving abilities relevant to IT environments. Earning the CCST certification demonstrates readiness for entry-level roles and serves as a stepping stone toward more advanced Cisco certifications like the CCNA. Here are the top five beneficial uses of the sample exam. 1. Validates foundational IT skills. The CCST exam confirms a candidate's understanding of core IT support concepts, including networking, operating systems, troubleshooting, and cybersecurity basics, making it ideal for early career professionals. 2. Enhances employability. With Cisco's global recognition, the certification increases job opportunities for entry-level roles such as help desk technician, IT support specialist, or junior network technician. 3. Provides a career launch pad. CCST serves as a stepping stone to more advanced certifications like the Cisco Certified Network Associate CCNA, establishing a clear learning and career progression path. 4. Builds confidence with real-world IT scenarios. The exam features practical scenarios that help candidates develop the confidence to troubleshoot and solve problems in real IT environments. 5. Supports education and training programs. CCST integrates well with academic and workforce development programs, offering a recognized credential that aligns with industry standards and prepares learners for both work and further certifications.